Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. You know what goes great with a hot summer night? How about sipping on a summer sangria? John Schoenbeck is the lead mixologist from Table 45 joining us in the studio today. Good to have you here. Oh, it's a Thanks pleasure. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's nice, nice to be back. So we are mixing up three fabulous drinks yes for everyone to come and enjoy summertime you want to have something refreshing something oh, yeah. light yeah well a lot of things that are popular right now things like sangrias beer cocktails ginger is a huge thing but we're going to leave ginger alone today okay, okay so we're, we're actually going to start with a uh, a beer cocktail um I like now, them. I like them. Just even the name sounds good to me because you gotta, it's nice to have a well, good beer. They've been they've been kind of gaining some popularity mm -hmm. lately. You know, uh, I made one a while back that was based more on a uh, a German cocktail, which is uh, lemonade and beer. I like the sound of that. So we're gonna kind of spice it up just a little okay. bit. So first we're gonna squeeze a lemon here. We want about a about an ounce of lemon juice. Give us one full lemon here. Now, is this one that you kind of concocted on your own, or did you? Actually, we we do a lot of custom cocktails mm -hmm. at Table 45, and a lot of the things that go on our menu are based on some of these cocktails. You know, guests will come in and they'll ask you for something special, something specific. And a lot of places I've worked in the past really don't give you that ability to be able to, to do that. To, the the table, flexibility to work it, with exactly. the drink. Exactly. Okay. At Table 45, we really like to... Oh, I love the looks of this already. So we're, we're adding about a half or uh, an ounce of honey. Okay. Looks yeah, at, at Table 45, we really, you know, we really try and make it really approachable for the guests. Did you know that's my favorite? I did. No. That's, that's why I brought it. <laughs> of course. So we're, we're going to do a, an ounce of the uh, Bombay Sapphire. Okay. I'm finding a lot, I mean, normally I would just do a dirty gin martini, that's how I normally like it, but I'm finding that a lot of drinks that have gin mixed in, I was always afraid of them, but well, it, you, it gin almost is masks, a, a lot of people with the gin, they'll say it's too strong, they don't like the taste, well, but you, they you, mask you a lot wanna, of it. Gin has an interesting flavor to it, there's a lot of floral flavors to it, um, the juniper is definitely one of those flavors that's really heavy in the gin, mm -hmm. so you want to be able to balance it with things that are going to accent those flavors gotcha. without overpowering it in, gotcha. the, in the drink. So we're going to take a Citra Dog from Thirsty Dog in Akron, it's a, it's a citrus IPA, okay, so all these things are going to mix real well together. Be a nice, refreshing beer. How good does that look? There you go. All right, one down. I want to see about the sangria. Or do we have to garnish well, it? Or? Actually, all I'm going to do on top is a, okay. a little bit of lemon zest. Okay. Okay. Let's give it that extra yeah. added yep, kick. Yep. Get that little. All right. I'm going to sip on this while please, you whip please. up your sangria drink because that you you have some stuff here that I'm really excited to see what goes yeah, into this. So the the sangria we make in bulk. So we're going to take. Mm. When I, when I make it at work, so we take two whole uh, honeydew melons and one whole uh, watermelon. But because we've got limited space here, we're going to... Sure. So we'll cut up a little bit of these. We'll throw them right into the blender here. Love the fresh fruit aspect. Blend that right up. Now you mix the watermelon in with it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. We, want, we want the juice out of these. We don't necessarily want the meat. So what we're going to do after we uh, we blend these is we're going to strain them. Okay. And then as far as alcohol goes that you're going to be putting in, what are you what are you mixing in? So after after we strain these, we're going to put two bottles of a Sauvignon Blanc. And at, at Table 45, we use a uh, Wolfgang Puck Sauvignon Blanc. You, now, if you want one of their signature wonderful drinks or you have something that you love, they will obviously make it for you once you get there. You're right on the campus of uh, the main campus of the Cleveland Clinic. Yes, yes, at we're. The hotel there? The Intercontinental Hotel Inter in the conference hotel. center. Okay, so we got honeydew and watermelon in there. And we're going to blend those guys up. Is this, is this what uh, it ends up looking yes, like? Yeah, so I brought a little bit with us there. So that's, that's going to have. Your Bacardi, about a bottle of Bacardi, mm -hmm. two bottles of the uh, the Wolfgang Puck Sauvignon Blanc, and about three quarters of a bottle of uh, uh, peach schnapps there. 
it's going to be delicious. Last but not least, what is this drink that you have mixed That in? is the uh, coconut lime martini. Okay, that guy is just a little bit of a twist on your, uh, or your key lime pie martini. We make our own coconut lime simple syrup. Sounds delicious. Oh, it's, oh, it's it sounds delicious. excellent. I'll let you finish that up during the break and we'll show people what the finished product looks like and make sure you go check them out. I think you'll be very happy with all of the drinks that you see. Thank you so much for being here.